today. Can you just talk about uh, what you did and what you saw in your couple of wins? Yeah, I um, ran a PR, like a lifetime PR in the 200, which I was really excited about because um, I just I didn't feel all that great, but um, I think the competition really pushed me to it. And then the 400, I also ran a time that I normally am not at at this point in the season, so I'm just feeling really strong going into the beginning of the outdoor season and excited to see where I can progress to. Yeah, so what did, what did you feel stepping outside for the first time after the indoor season and what it was like to finally get out here and transition? It was definitely cold, but I <laughs> it was nice to not have the such the tight turns because that's something I really struggle with, especially with my legs being so long. It's hard to <laughs> get around the turns, so <laughs> I was, it felt good to be outside and be able to extend my stride. Coach Russ Peterson uh, is the first outdoor meet. What did you see? Wow, well, I saw a lot. I, I worked a lot. It's it's great to host host the meet. It's a lot of work for the coaches, um, and so I, I was also a fan in, in that process too. The athletes had to come out here and, and take care of what they needed to take care of, and I saw that across the board for, from the the jumps and, and the, the running events in particular. I've, had a chance to see the results from from the throws, but uh, I liked what I saw. It's our opening meet. Uh, they acted like it was their first meet, outdoor meet of the year, but we're, we're setting up for a strong outdoor season at this point. Olivia Bechtel is one of the runners that you work a lot with, and she had a big day today. She got a couple of wins. Uh, talk about what she was going through and how she's been developing since indoor season and what you saw out of her today. What's really unique about Olivia that uh, you said it was a big day, and uh, for her it's just another day. Uh, we, we have high expectations for her. She has high expectations for herself. Um, so, you know, it, it's not, not every day when you get a freshman and you expect to win two events. And, and we expect her to do that and continue to do that and go to bigger meets and better meets and, and for her to continue to get better. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with her progression. I'm not surprised. I was excited that we, we signed her last year. And that excitement is, is still here, and she backs it up every every meet. Uh, she's, she's definitely a, a bright spot on our right roster. Uh, moving forward, she's going to continue to get brighter. So broadening it up a little bit, um, talk about your long distance group a little bit and how, what they did today and what you saw. You know, the distance team, they're like uh, sleeping giants to me at, at, at times. Where we're strong there, and they, they they hibernate a little bit in the winter time because they have to they have to go outside. They don't give the luxury of, of training in the disc, and uh, I don't get to see them a lot. And so uh, when when I do see them, I, I think they make huge jumps. And I talk with the, the distance coaches, and they said that they've been progressing that way. So uh, I, I'm happy to see they they represent it well today. I'm, I'm happy to see that you know they're. they're they're back with our, our track group, and they're going to continue to, to kind of build it as a team, and we're going to bring the, the forces of distance and the forces of sprints and jumps and the throws together for the outdoor season.